Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One, um, and we are playing Madden 21. Oh yeah, dude, it's a madness. It is, dude. Madden, it's gonna madden you. It's actually maddening, Ooh, to be honest. Stop the madness. Stop the insanity. Remember that lady, Suzanne Powder? She was like the thin lady with a shaved head and it was bleach blonde. And she'd be like, stop the insanity. And I don't even remember what it was about. It was like. No idea. It was really dumb, dude. Was I, I think it was, she was like a diet lady. She was like, don't eat MSG. Eat CBD. But that was like pre-CBD. Oh, I thought it was like a hot sauce commercial or something. No, it was like she Like was... the insanity hot sauce, maybe? <laughs> Suzanne's insanity. <laughs> Will you stop letting the man airplane and just, just start the game? No, oh, he has the airplane. It's snowing again, John. This is snow. It's always snowing in Cleveland. Do you know, on April 21st, it snowed five inches in Ohio. Just a couple, like recently. From the ground. Um, yeah. <laughs> grew up from the ground. <laughs> Five inches from the. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not surprised, dude. Yeah, I don't think, like, I remember, like, from growing up there, like, I remember Oof. it snowing in April sometimes. I don't know if I ever remember it snowing this close to May, though. Man, well. I mean, this is probably. No, we're still in April when these videos come out. So, yeah. You know, with, like, global warming and continental drift and, uh, you know, landing rovers on Mars, this is yeah. bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my cousin, who still lives in Ohio, sent me a video and he was like, it was some video, some, like, I don't know, some dude talking. He was like, you know, in Ohio. We got a saying about the weather that please goes. He this, is, goes this is what your cousin sounds like. No, it's the guy in the video sounds. Like. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and he goes, whether it's raining or snowing or cold or hot, ain't that some BS? But he said the the full word, and I'm like, you know, people in Ohio <laughs> do say that. They walk <laughs> outside and go, ain't this some BS? They're always saying it, dude. Yeah, when, when I live there, constantly, dude. Every time I talk to her, she's like, ain't. Some BS. When I lived, the actual when I lived there, it was every other word in my lexicon, dude. Ain't hey, this some bull poopy? Yeah. Dog, freaking. Okay, look, this is totally off subject. That's fine, dude. Tangent. Totally freaking off subject. Did I tell you that I saw a live damn rooster outside yesterday, the other day? Like in the Curry Sound compound? I saw a rooster when I went on my morning jog. Yeah. I heard a. <laughs> The sound roosters make. I don't, you know. It's, oh, yeah. I heard the sound a rooster makes. And I'm like, that's weird. Because we live in like a suburban, urban area, uh -huh. I guess. And I'm just like, and I continue just like my walk, the pre, you know, pre run walk. And then I look and I'm like, is that a freaking chicken? At first I thought it was a turkey. I'm like, wow, turkeys, okay, in the South, fine. It was a freaking chicken. Yeah. I took video of it. Yeah. Um, hot what do you take, mean? spoiler yeah. alert, that uh, right behind the fence on one of the Crazy Town compounds, there is people that have chickens. I've heard them numerous times when I went for walks. Get the hell out of it's here. It's so fence. Well, it was a dang rooster, man. Isn't that yeah. the most important one? I've heard them go, caca, too, dude. Caca, yeah, because yeah, yeah. chickens make the sound. You know, cock a dude, I'm not going to make the noise. Do dude. it, try. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear all like, good it's chicken. Funny, I've never <laughs> seen them, but I've heard them kind of doing like I don't know if I've ever heard them go the full cockadoodle do, but I've definitely heard them do that like half squawk that no. they do that sounds very similar. Fam, I heard the whole. I was like, what the hell? Well, it is early in the morning when you're out there too. So I like went and I took video. I might put it up on the channel if I can figure out how to convert it off of my phone. But I was, I was. Like, there's profanity in it because I was. I'm a city boy. Okay. You we were like, what the. So full disclosure, I'm a city boy. Um, city boy. And I've never seen a chicken IRL. I've never seen a ever. No, a living chicken. Get the, what? When would I have seen a living chicken? Don't they, don't they have them at the zoo? No. What? A chicken? A chicken is not the animal they keep at a zoo. They keep those on farms. <laughs> Yeah, where, where's the chicken exhibit at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo? <laughs> Does that mean, in, in our defense, that is a pretty jank zoo. But I mean, in our defense, it's a pretty jank animal to have in a zoo. Nobody wants they, a chicken in a zoo. They have, like, the farm section. It's just a bunch of goats and chickens. Oh, yeah, let's see the African and Asian see, elephants, the, the giraffes, fair. the lions, and the chickens. I've definitely seen chickens at the county fair in Ohio. Like, um, they have, like, the different, like, gazebos that have, like, the 4-H babes hang out there. I don't think I've ever been to, like, a fair, fair, fair. You ever went to the one in Jefferson up in Asheville County? No. No? It, like, my parents just take me when I was a kid. Like, it was just something I, we did. I would hope so. Yeah, one time I got lost there. <laughs> Were you scared? 
I was. I was, uh, I was under 10. And I got lost. From the ground. And, uh... Oh, God. That's bad. And, uh, of course, I got hit and got intercepted, but, uh... Whatchamacallit. I had, like, I had the wherewithal enough as a small child to find the... To find the customer service tent and told them my father's name. And they, like, called my dad's name over the loudspeaker at the fairgrounds. To which he didn't hear it, but one, somehow my cousin was there, heard it, found my dad somehow, and told him that I was missing and where I was. If not, if not, <laughs> he didn't even know you were going. Well, he here's what happened. <laughs> he was just keeping his fingers crossed. He, uh, yeah, right. He was like, "Oh my god, please let this be the day." And uh, he went. Uh, I was. He gave me a few dollars to play like those dollar games, like pop the balloon, throw the ball, and guess the speed, and all that. And he was like. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a couple minutes. And I, as a smart kid, was like, well, I got done early. I'll just go to the bathroom and find him. Well, of course, like, we crossed paths on the way because mm. I left and he was on his way back to get me. And Too then smart I, for your own good. Yeah, yeah, I was too smart. I was too smart. I was just too smart. And then, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I got lost in the fair. I've never got lost. Like, I've never been to a fair. I've been to carnivals, which are kind of like fair. like fair ass, but normally ans- in a church ans- parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, carnivals usually have rights. Fairs don't generally have rights. Yeah, they do. The one, the one in Asheville County has tons of rides. It was a giant thing. I it thought was, like fairs were like this is the largest pumpkin. Catch the greased up pig. No, and they had like they had a demolition derby and stuff. Archery there. contest. Yeah, like I, I've seen, seen demolition derby there. They had like they had like the stalls that had like the 4-H babes and like you get like prize cows and yada yada yada. Yeah. But then they had tons of like tons of rides like the scrambler and the tilt world. They had like a Ferris wheel, the sea dragon. Not, they had like a roller coaster, but they had like fair rides. And so I wonder what the differentiation is between a fair and a carnival because I always thought that carnival Carnivals were just like basically like small amusement parks, like very small, compact amusement uh, parks. Yeah, it's mostly like, rides and party games and none of that freaking squash pumpkin cow crap. Lose. They are destroying anything I try to do. Six rushes, no yards. So I, I don't really know what the difference is, but I mean, I, I've, I've never really gotten lost from my parents. Um, yeah, that's the only time I ever did, and it was literally my own stupid fault. I remember. I was like, I'm gonna be smart. I definitely remember like having that fear in my heart, like where's my mom? But I don't remember like where. Yeah, it was probably I, like I like a mall or something. I vaguely remember like being at like a like an apartment store, like a Hills is where the toys are, or one of those sort of places, so and like geez. not being able to find my grandpa. Dude, I got a hill story. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, dude. All I got is me being lost. So <laughs> nothing, nothing really p- pertinent. All right, so I was like. uh uh, oh man, I was probably like ten or eleven at okay. the time, and I had made friends with this guy who was like thirteen, fourteen. Oh, the bad kid, the older kid. He <laughs> actually was like, uh, kind of like offshoot of the story. He ended up joining the Crips. Oh, like and, like the real Crips. Yeah, like, he ended oh up God. joining the Crips, and he got like jumped in and everything. And he tried to get me to join, and I like cried to my mom because I was a little b-word. <laughs> <laughs> to get jumped in. I was like, I don't want to join the Crips, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, good, you shouldn't join the Crips. And I was like, Frank's trying to get me to join the Crips, and I'm scared. And she was like, well, I'm going to go have a talk with Frank's parents. And, oh. she, and she did, and then Frank got in trouble, and he apologized to me. And Did he have to leave the Crips? He had to get I don't know out. if he left the Crips he, or not. He had to get two a whoopings because you told on him, and then his mom made him quit the Crips. I don't know if he got his ass beat or not, but I know he tried to get me to join the Crips, and he joined the Crips, and I was not about joining the Crips, nor was I about joining the Bloods. I didn't want to join any gang at that point. I agree. At ten years old, I didn't want to join the Crips for damn sure. Right, right. Regardless, I remember me and him would uh, we would play video games a lot together, but we, you know we'd hang out and stuff. Was there a hills up in like near Cleveland where you lived, or was there was a hills? Yeah, I, when I lived in uh, Richmond Heights, Cuyahoga County. Oh, okay, County. cool. But there was there was a hills, and I remember we would go there, and I would like get whenever I got allowance and everything, I would go up there and I'd get like a GI Joe action figure or like some candy or whatever. And I remember one time me and him went there, and we were leaving, and we got halfway across the parking lot walking, and like these two guys in suits came up from behind oh, us. Oh, loss prevention. Came up from behind us and like grabbed our arms and they're like, hey, you have to come with us. And I'm like, what You're the like, oh hell? my god, don't put me in a van. My mom told me about guys and, like you. And freaking Frank, dude. Frank is like, dude, he doesn't even know. He has nothing to do with this. And I'm like, Frank, what the hell did you do, man? 
and they take me and Frank into like the back office and they have us sit down and like this this back office it looked like like something out of a casting couch scene. Oh god. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um but and then like they make Frank empty out his pockets and he had like just packs and packs of batteries. Just like double A Duracells. <laughs> Not like he's like my toys. My mom's broke. My toys and he's like, you're like yeah. And I'm like Frank, what the hell are you doing? He's like, don't worry, man. You ain't got nothing to do with this. And I'm like Frank, you are tripping right now. You're like, of course I had nothing to do with it, you a hole. No, but I mean, um, long story short, man, I got let go and Frank had to stay there. It actually let me walk home, dude. And I just I came home and I told my parents I was like, yeah, man. Frank's in trouble, mom. She's Frank's like, in is this trouble. after the crypt? The crypt's making you do this. <laughs> and I remember, I remember seeing Frank the next day and. I was just like, oh, dude, I really thought you were going to go to jail. He's like, no, it's all good. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's like, you know what happens? You don't go to jail. That's why I stole. <laughs> the funny thing is I gave Frank that voice, and that was nothing like what he sounded like. But that was to protect his identity. Yeah, yeah, and his name wasn't even Frank. Oh, no, it was really Frank. Oh. <laughs> Frank the Crip, dude. <laughs> In fact, he went by Frank because his name was Francis. Ooh. If that's it. <laughs> You, you know, honestly, man, I've looked this guy up on Facebook and as, as, since I uh, since that story has happened because I always wanted to just like touch base with him again. He's only like three years older than me. I just wanted to see how he was doing. Yeah, if he had like led, if that had like led him into a, yeah, if that had led him into a life of crime of some <laughs> sort. I just I just need to know. I just need to know. But I couldn't find Frank, dude. Maybe he maybe he perished. And I remember his last name because. In the uh, the apartment complex that we lived in, they had everybody's last name on the mailbox in like a oh. central location. Oh, okay, which is Yo, weird. I hated that. Well, yeah. Just now like, that I think about it, I hate that. So if the killers came, they would know exactly where to go. Exactly. They just go into like, the little mail area and be like, "I'm looking for the Smiths." Well, Ooh. now they go inside the mailbox, so that that's probably probably people have died because of the mail system. I, I imagine so. Like yeah. I'm looking for John Doe. Oh, Doe lives in 313. Let's go. Not to mention that that apartment also had like one of those uh, one of those boards where it had like everybody's uh, last name and apartment number, oh my God. like right outside, so you could know what button to press. Like if Holy you need crap. to, so if you need the intercom system and you lived in say apartment 403, you would type, "All right, I see that the Smiths lives in 403." And oh. it was very very invasive. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. It's like had your social up there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like when I think about it, I don't even think like New York brownstones do that, man. I don't think they do. No, that. dude, it uh, like that was like in the early nineties though. Like, yeah, stuff, nobody. Dude, people were like, cause like it was so hard to like do fraud because everything had to be done in person. Yeah, fair. you know what I mean. Like you fair. couldn't just be behind a screen like stealing someone's identity. You had to like dress up as John Smith and go to the bank and have a fake ID with a picture that looked like you and. Yeah, like oh man, don't even get me started on having a friendly debate with somebody. You got to go to the library and look it that up. That was like back in the day when you could smoke on airplanes. Let <laughs> I me mean, just light up a pole ball in the air, dude. <laughs> you know what? I honestly, I do remember smoking in restaurants. Oh yeah, not myself because I, I don't, I don't smoke, but I do remember like oh, smoking yeah, in restaurants. Dude, I just remember going to Perkins and Ashtabula, and they had the, and they'd have the smoking, smoking section, section and the non-smoking section, but. It literally, there wasn't even a full wall dividing it. No. It just, it just, the whole restaurant smelled like smoke. Always. Eh, you know, honestly, I felt like if I was in the non-smoking section, it was, it was all right. Yeah. I didn't, just, like. It's just amazing. I guess how, everything just smelled like smoke, so you just got used oh, to it. Oh, yeah. It's just amazing how times have changed to where, like, that was acceptable. Like, just everyone's lungs are exposed to tobacco smoke. Yeah. Well, and now, now, like, people don't even like to be exposed to, like, people saying certain words. Now nobody smokes is really the big thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gotten to the point where that, like, um, oh, fourth and one... Tied in the fourth quarter. Can't Ooh, defense, I think you it. go for it. And I was too too far back. <laughs> um, now it's gotten to the point where those those old truth commercials that used to like try to debunk smoking, now they're trying to get people to stop vaping. Huh. Oh yeah. my god! On the one, you can s s it, you mfers. That's a good. That's a good point, man. Where not a lot of people smoke, there are still a lot of people that vape. But um, it, it, vaping. Is... Oh, we got a safety. Oh, sh nice. F. That's great, dude. That is actually really cool. That's great. Yeah, they didn't. Not only did they stop them, they won us the game. Um, that's the first time your defense has ever won you the game. No, no ish, right? <laughs> At least in that way. Yeah, for sure. 
I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know about vaping. I don't know. I don't know if it's bad for you or not. So I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They, say I mean, they say not, they have things about vapes exploding. They have things about oh, like. Come on, dude. But dude, you're you're still putting chemicals in your lungs. I saw a phone uh, blow up in CeeLo Green's hand on camera. Yeah. Well, it's not like um, it's not like the vape is like natural cherry. It's like some sort of chemical that tastes like cherry. Yeah, I mean, but you know, we put chemicals in our body all the time. Oh yeah, dude, that's why everybody get, gets cancer. Everything is full of chemicals. <laughs> that's why everybody gets cancer, dude. It it kind of is though. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> if you deal with that many mutations everywhere, like, and you put them in your body, and you drink out of them, you heat up plastic, and the plastic particles go into your food or in your drinking water with chemicals in it, and you're eating. Fake cyclones. Do you know that every time you cook food, you consume carcinogens? Yeah. Yeah, from and actual you, meat itself. And when you know from everything you cook. And when you burn food, you increase the amount of carcinogens you eat. Like, I used to have a thing for, like, overcooked popcorn. Oh, like the char? Yeah, but, like... Oh, my God. You're, like, the only person in the world who likes it's, that, by the way. Just, like, a little light. Just, like, light. No, it stinks like... No, booty, just, dude. like, a little smoky flavor. <laughs> a little smoky microwave burn, dude. I got just you. Just a okay. little, little smokehouse in my popcorn. Whatever. I'm weird. Fr frick you. But... The fact is, is that those are carcinogens, and carcinogens are things that cause cancer. And so, like, I mean, just like a little bit of char on your chicken, you're, you're consuming carcinogens. Which is really good, by the way. Charring okay. that beef, dude. Thank you. Ooh, so I don't know what the difference is between that and popcorn. It doesn't smell like butthole. I mean, it, you don't get it to the point where it's stinking up the house. I don't want, like, a ball of popcorn ash. I just it is want, a like, fine line. It is a very fine line. Like, and I'm glad you, like, see that. It is a it, very it is, fine it is line. Like it goes from like oh it's a little overcooked to completely inedible, burning, smelling the house for days in a second. I used to know just how to place the the popomatic bag in the <laughs> microwave in the exact time length that it would take to get just the right amount of char. And, then and I, folks, <laughs> he'll tell you that secret on the next episode. No, I mean not. Uh, <laughs> damn it! I was trying to get a spoil like a, a teaser, bro. I'm, I'm not telling them. It, no. I'll forget. Any more popcorn? things you gotta tell us uh sweet popcorn sucks oh god yes K kettle corn uh, oh. all right that's all the time we have today's episode of crazy town so please make sure to like and subscribe if you already did that do a notification bell ding a ling it will make you have us in your lives even more oh there's the ladder hey, for jonas TNT. Uh, we are